baby on me. I can't let her crib unless that chopper on me. She say I'm a shit, she gon' put it on me. You can keep this out, I'ma smoke this OG. Remember where that. Not too bad, how are you? I'm still here. You <laughs> got to. <laughs> Ryan um, is is one of four brothers that played here at Maryville. They're like the first family of Maryville football. Um, his his oldest brother Michael was a, was a really good player in the mid two thousands. Played at Purdue. And went to Toledo. Ryan went to Southern Illinois. And the only Neil brother that I got to coach was Adam, who played at St. Francis. Like I said, I, I never coached Ryan. When you have good players, coaches ask about how old players were. And, and um, there's a guy by the name of uh, Doug Mallory. The first person he always asks, anytime I see Doug Mallory, is he asks, hey, Ryan Neal, what's he doing? At the time, he was, I think, with the Falcons. Really wanted to pick Ryan up as a, as a, as a free agent. I remember I got a thing in the mail asking about his character, asking about this and that, and you know, I didn't know anything about him. Really, the person I lean on the most uh, when asking about him is, uh, is Coach Sabina. Two big things that come out about Ryan that they always talk about, how great of a leader he was and how hard of a worker he was. I'm, I'm going to be quiet here. We're going to let Ryan uh, uh, talk to you guys for a couple minutes. My older brother was drafted second round 56 pick. I was sitting right next to him on the couch when it happened. So you're coming through this whole thing, and it's kind of weird because you, you follow, like you're not following the footsteps, but I'm going to tell you all the one thing. This is the main reason why I came back here. I'm real. I'm in the league. I'm in it for real. I've been in it for five years. I'm just not popping off. And I'm from here and I came from the school and I walked these same halls and I sat in the same room. I had to fire this school up in here one time. That day when he got drafted, like I always know I want to do something great, but him sitting next to me getting that phone call made me go, oh, this is real. Like everybody hear about great football players, but it's like, if it ain't really from your area, can it really touch you? Nah, because you, you see him like, you don't want to be like that, but it ain't really real. When he made it from that point on, and this was probably the, right before I got to high school, my freshman year, I was like, oh, I'm, I gotta make this happen. At the time I had Philly and I had Atlanta. And so it came down, if y'all remember, that's when Philly won the Super Bowl the year before. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna go to Philly. You know, they got the success, whatever the case may be. Go through that whole process. The first day I get to rookie mini camp, I get a grade two hamstring strain and I'm out for the whole OTAs, out for the whole spring practice, out the whole time. This is three tight ends, the back sitting there, and I'm like, oh, this this would have happened. If this tight end down block, I'm going to run back there and hit this running back right in the face. I don't give a damn. He blocked down, smacked him, turn over on down. The next week, my D coordinator, hey, you finna start safety this second, uh, this third preseason game. <laughs> huh? I don't even know the playbook. <laughs> Opportunities, man, when they come around, you you got to do you gotta do everything in your power to take it and run with it, no matter how, <laughs> no matter how, how people feel. But every time you get an opportunity, no matter how big or small you are, y'all got to take it, you got to run with that. You got to run with it, and you got to fight for it. We finna play the Dallas Cowboys. Um, the backup safety got hurt. The third string safety was out for the year from the last game. If Jamal get hurt, you got to go in. He come back to me again. Hey, Lano not playing, so if Jamal get hurt, you know if anything happened, you got to go in. Third quarter come around. I see him get up. He go for a play. He... I'm like, I'm like, what? He... He comes to the sideline. I, woo! I ran out there. Nobody even caught. I just took back into the game. It's like the, the last drive. Dad got the ball. They drive it, and they they was torturing this game too. So they drive in the field. So I'm sitting in the end zone. All of a sudden, all I see him do is just throw the ball up. I just jumped up. He jumped up there, caught the ball. Game winning pick. Your first NFL career interception is a game winning interception. And that from there on changed my whole story. PFF All Pro. Don't receive first team all pro votes this past year. Done ball. But it took me that long for that to even pop off. I wanted to uh, I wanted to come back and talk to y'all, man. You know, I don't never come empty handed because you know, some people don't really believe shit when they come out of people's mouths, so I just have to at least bring some proof that y'all think that this shit ain't really real or not. I mean, I don't know if y'all I mean, you can pass that around. You wanna send it?
Yeah, it doesn't matter. You make sure to tell me you gotta worry about a lot less. You gotta get Say, uh, you don't want to oh, oh, camera I, I play football. I, I was, I'm the quarterback. I ain't gonna lie. I was really, I'm really trying to top it up with him for real. He, he over tatting with him over there. I'm trying to see, like, because I'm trying to top it up. I'm trying to get better. You know, he, he tatting. He, got, he said he got some camps this summer. Hey, if you're looking at this, shoot me that info. Uh, we gonna top it up in like five seconds though. So, 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 take, stay tuned. We're trying to get out the view, man. Put on for my little brother. My little cousins, man. Yeah. What's good with you? We got these new braids. This shit fresh, bro. Subscribe to Ryan Neal on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> this is really crazy. Like, it ain't even been 10 years. And it felt like yesterday we was just in here. It's really surreal, for real. Like, I, I really can't even, it hasn't even soaked in yet. I guess it won't until tomorrow. But, you know, just the journey and everything you done been through and the person you created and became, you know, throughout the whole process. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's beautiful, dog. And every time I come back here, it's like a charge up. Like, I come back here, it's like I see everything that, you know, once was, and I start running through all the emotions again and all of them, the memories, and it's just like, it just it brings back a fire, you know, to go back out. And when I go to the league and I'm, I'm out here, you know, in Seattle, wherever I'm at, to really just put on, I, I wear that with pride. And like, even, you know, even though we can't do Maryville, it ain't just about Maryville, it's, it's the 219. Like, it's, it's, the, it's the Gary School system, it's the, it's the Bapos, it's the Portages, it's the Hobarts, it's the Hammonds. It's like, it's all of us, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of the few, only to bring in a lot more. So, you know what I mean? It's just, it's surreal, bro. It's just surreal. What is y'all doing? Playing, uh, let's get the ball. Mm. I stand safe, you know, I don't oh, Ain't nothing to it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's much. Trophy case over here, full of shit. Big ass shit, he still got down. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's my little cousin joint. I guess that they made. Hell yeah. By the time they updated that picture too, that shit took forever. How I feel being in her. Huh? How I feel just like being in her and <laughs> knowing that some of the stuff on the wall is <laughs> you helped build this. Man, I mean, shoot, I'm just I'm happy for my parents for real. I think this is just cool for them just to have like this whole I don't know. It's just like a like a trophy case with just achievements from different dudes. You know, different my brothers, sister. I got my, I mean, my got their grand grandchildren's trophies up in here. It's just like it's like they shrine, I man. I guess you can just call it uh, fruits of their labor. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's just mm -hmm. that's how. I, that's what it kind of makes me feel like. Like this is just them looking at their blessings. You know, what I'm saying the thing that they put on the earth, let them go and just achieve, man. So it's just like a bragging right for them. So it's just it's everything. It's everything. God problem. Oh yeah, I know my dog Matt Neasy in the yeah. building. Always gonna press the head to toe. Always gonna be there. Woo! Always, man. Let's do this. It's time to ride. I gotta show him a real money. I'm gonna have to.
that has blessed us. <laughs> Athletic Director Ms. Amy Beckham and Principal Mr. Mike Kress and myself feel so blessed to be here this evening with the Neal family. How many high schools have two professional football teams, players, that played for them and now their jerseys are being retired? How many? Of very many. I don't think very many. Not too long ago, we retired Michael Sturzy, who played with Green Bay. And tonight, we retire number 20. Ryan Deal. I'll be the tackle. And like I said, it's a joyous retirement, but there's still so much more to go. Um, I ain't at the mountain top yet. Still got so much more work to do. So appreciate Maryville, appreciate the two and nine for coming out and showing me so much love, man. It means everything to get love from where you from, where you those stumbling grounds is at. And like I said, man, let that jersey retirement be a sign for anybody else who's gonna be next. You know what I'm saying? The lights on us now, so let's ride out, baby. Two on nine. <laughs> Look at you calling me You said I ain't shit and I thought I was toxic How you fall for me?